Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today we are diving in to, oh my god. First of all, you guys know I love foundation reviews. I've literally done a million of them just in the last two months. Okay, well that that's a little exaggerated, but you know what I mean. I've done a ton, I love them so much, and today we're looking at none other than Lil Miss Juvia's Place. Now this is something I talked about in, I think it might have been a purchase or pass a while ago, and I, like the minute I saw this on Trend Moon, my heart literally leapt from my existence because I love Juvia's Place. I think as a brand, it's a black owned brand if you don't know, and the creator, she is just so beautiful, first of all, and she's so well thought out, and the products are so curated and so inclusive, and it's just amazing to see a brand like Juvia's Place, a black owned brand, just really flourish and take its mark because I think that the quality of the products, and again, the inclusivity of it is just stunning, so I'm really, really excited to dive in, test this out, and for today, I picked up three different shades because I want to do that thing where you can kind of contour your face with it and, you know, have like a skin tone shade, a little bit lighter, and a deeper kind of bronzer-ish shade for my skin tone, so that's that's kind of where I'm going with this. Now I'm going to preface just this like a little bit because I did pick these up on the internet and we know how um, sometimes things just go really really wrong when Paige buys foundations on the internet so hopefully we have a mixture that will work here but like if it's wrong just remember like I haven't even looked yet I figured if there's a problem we're just we're gonna find out together. Okay now on to the main event let's talk foundation. This is a $16 stick foundation and it says here that this is a full coverage natural and radiant finish multi-purpose foundation stick. It comes in 30 creamy and long-lasting shades shades. Um, formulated to feel like skin, it is a weightless multi-purpose formula that glides on seamlessly to cover imperfections while giving full definition to the face. Guys, as I'm reading through this paragraph by paragraph, I'm more intrigued by everything they're saying. Um, and then it says, apply these to moisturize and primed face. Swipe the foundation in the areas where you need coverage. You guys, I love this packaging. It's so pretty. It's just a nice plastic component, but I love the color. It's like this really nice kind of coral peachy pink color. Hey right, guys, so these are the three shades that I picked up. It looks like I have Tokyo, which is this really nice bright shade. I was kind of thinking that one maybe for like right in this region, I could use it to shape out um, kind of like a concealer, but not like use it to brighten up those areas. The one in the middle there, which is going to be my, oh, actually that's kind of close to my skin tone. Yes, honey. That is in Luxor. And then this deep shade over here, which I'm a little concerned about. I might have went just a freckle too deep, but that is in Abidjan, Abid Abidjan, Abidjan. A, B, I, D. I need to look it up. Abid Jan. Abidjan. Okay, so after that consultation with Google and a couple other sources, we are going to go with Abidjan, and I just apologize still if I'm butchering it. But from here, let's go ahead and start application. Just so you guys know, I did already prime and prep my skin. I always do this for every video. I like to go in and prime and really give it a few minutes to sink and settle before I start applying foundation. And I also always split my face. So on this side, we have Tatcha Silk Canvas. And then on this side, we went with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid. I did this because obviously Tatcha is my control, but I wanted to have a little bit more radiance on this side because for me sometimes with stick foundations they pull really really matte and I'm just kind of trying to combat that make everything look really nice and sultry and creamalicious so let's go ahead and dive in first I think we're going to start with the shade Luxor now this is going to be my more skin tone shade oh honey okay that looks like my skin wow wow and we're gonna go in here with the morphe js1 and i'm going to try just really pressing that into the skin i do find when it comes to stick foundations that i have much better luck um going in and applying them with a brush or my um juno and co sponge which i have somewhere around here i did clean that as well um but for me a lot of times i think a brush is really nice and then if it needs to be smoothed out i can go in with just a regular blender and smooth out over top to create an even surface but like, look at the coverage. You guys saw how red that was, right? Like that coverage is really pretty for a stick foundation. Um, it's not completely full yet. And when everything is applied, I'll pull you guys in. Um, but I do feel like it's going to need to be built up just a freckle right through here. But let's go ahead and keep applying it. I'm going to grab, I really want to make sure that I hit like my more acne ridden areas. I like this is blending out really nicely too. And the coverage, like look at, you saw how red my forehead was right there girl 
This is doing a beautiful job at really covering redness, which for a stick foundation is rare. That almost never happens. And I feel like right now for a stick foundation, this is more on the full coverage side. Like it's very impressive. Um, for a foundation overall, I'm getting like a straight medium, decent medium out of the gate. And I think it looks really, really nice. Now, I think if I were to bump up that coverage any and like really build on it with that shade, I could probably get it to full because this, like I said before, does a beautiful job with overall redness and that's very impressive but I don't want to just keep going in with the same stick foundation I really want to try out the other ones as well so I'm going to take the lighter shade here and I want to pop this like right in this region I will add a concealer as well just to really get up under my eye but I thought it would be kind of cool to use their product as well and really brighten up the other areas of the face yeah see I definitely feel like for my skin tone as I go a little bit lighter I do lose a little coverage so the best way to do this I think would be to go in with your skin tone and get the coverage you need and then if you want to shape the face you can go in afterwards after you've already built up that coverage I'm gonna just go in here real quick and kind of smooth everything out with my sponge this is just the ColourPop sponge um, when they released their pretty fresh collection that's when this came out and if you missed my review of that I'll link it up there I also did test out this uh, primer that I'm using on this side in that video so if you're curious definitely check it out now before I go in and add any more coverage here I'm just going to lightly take the shade Abidjan and I am going to use this a little bit around the perimeter of my face just to really shape it out so you know what guys I think that if this blends out this could really work <laughs> like for my skin tone now I'm gonna go in and really pat that and like press it into the skin with the um, it cosmetics velvet luxe 319 this is their LBD bronzer brush and what I love about this brush I actually will use this for foundation as well is it's so so dense but it does a beautiful job at like lightly diffusing and kind of like melding and pressing things into your skin in a really really seamless kind of way and I thought this would be a perfect option. Ooh, for this color. Yes, honey. Okay, all right. Okay, yes, it definitely ended up going much more toward the warm side. That looks so beautiful, though. I love the way that it spreads out onto the skin. And it's a very, very malleable foundation stick, which is amazing. But it's not overly creamy. Like, this isn't um, as creamy, I would say. It's kind of like the Hourglass one, if you've ever used that. Or even this one right here from Revolution Pro. Yeah, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro. Um, those, These ones are very, like, creamy to the point where as soon as you apply them, they're almost, like, mashing onto your skin. All right, now I went ahead and I moved you guys in quite a bit just so you can really see what we're looking at as far as radiance and coverage up close. I love how it looks on this side with the um, Hyaluronic Primer from ColourPop. And not to say that the side over here with Tatcha looks bad, but I do feel like this side just looks a little bit more juicy and I'm kind of loving it. Now, let's go ahead and I need to apply some concealer. So for that, I'm going to grab this little guy right here. This is, of course, my Tarte in Porcelain Beige, my Shape Tape. And also what's really good about this uh, Tarte Shape Tape is that it has a lot more of a mattified factor to it than the um, foundation stick so hopefully on the areas like in and around my t-zone right here down through my chin hopefully it'll kind of help add just a little bit of mattification to that area so I think to go ahead and set the face how I'm going to work this is actually with my um, JSC powder here this is in the shade fair and originally when I tested this out I didn't like it it literally didn't work for me but I am finding more and more uses for it now that my skin has changed a little bit and with a foundation like this one this can actually be a very beneficial powder because it is so nice and light and what I like to do is I'll just go in here and I will repack and press out my under eye because y'all know creases they just grow on me like leaves on a tree guess that's what happens when you turn 30 girl oh my god literally just dumped a quarter cup of powder down my face and onto my shirt how did i do it i don't know but i'm basically just taking with this powder and i am applying it to the areas of my face that either need to be baked or really set in okay and with everything all set down i am noticing a couple of things right off the bat i lost a little bit of coverage up through here like in my slightly more textured like upper cheek region and it's literally right there i don't know if you can see it or not but it's red where it was not red before i lost a little bit of coverage off of my acne right here um but for the most part i think the rest of it still looks 
looks pretty covered. Yeah, definitely this upper cheek as well, right through here. Now, while I was off of camera, I did also do my little touch test for you guys that do not like to set your face. You guys know I always like to include that. And what I noticed is that for as dewy and kind of luminous as this was sitting on the skin, it actually did settle in very, very nicely and it wasn't super tacky. So if you don't like to set your foundation or for whatever reason you just like that look better, I don't think you'd have to, but you will have to be very careful when you blend because it's right on the cusp. All right, and then here we are all zoomed out. I think everything actually looks really nice. And something else I wanted to note is that if you don't have the uh, Jeffree Star powder, I say this all the time, um, you can use this one. I use it just because it's in front of me. You can also use Fenty or even the Wet n Wild. I believe it's their Photo Focus, their big one. But anyways, I'm going to run off of camera. I have another video to film. I've got a thousand and one things to do today. So I'm going to go do that and I will stop back on when things are done and we're going to talk about it. So hang tight and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. The rest of my face is all done. And if you missed my video of the uh, Huda Nude palettes, these little mini guys right here, I reviewed all three. I'll link it up there for you. Um, let me just tell you though, it has been a journey off camera. Like I have been having issue after issue and we're just going to talk about this foundation. So I think the one thing that's going to really just embody how I'm feeling is to throw up the up close of what my uh, skin looks like right now because of this foundation. So let's just, let's just throw that up and just, you know, you can enjoy it with me. Enjoy. Now I'm not sure how well this shows in the up close, but you guys, this foundation looks atrocious on my skin. It is settling into my smile lines so, so bad all around the smile lines, around the mouth, around the crevasses of my nose. It looks atrocious onto the Hulk wrinkle on my forehead. Girl, it looks so bad. And I have tried like going in, like pressing it out with my fingers, like doing a little tap, tap motion. And no matter what I do, this looks so bad. Like keep in mind at this point as well, I've only been wearing this for maybe two or three hours. Like I went off of camera and I filmed and I've been hanging out. I went like I've been doing something so maybe it's been closer to three hours but still it should not look like this like I have foundations that don't look this bad after six hours of wear this foundation for me I can already tell you after wearing it this long girl this is not it for me it looks so bad on my skin but for right now you guys I am gonna go ahead I've got a ton of stuff I have to go do so I'm gonna go do that and I will stop back on at the end I'll let you know how things wore how everything came together so on and so forth so hang tight and I'll be back in a little bit okay you guys I am back it is officially the end of the day I think it's been about four hours since the last time I checked in and let me tell you let me tell you after like six or seven hours this foundation I gave it the benefit of the doubt it is not for me oh my god it looks so bad it is literally coming off of first of all everywhere like my smile lines let's let's you know what pause. Let's go ahead and just throw up the up close and we can kind of talk through this. I'm going to calm down because I was so hyped about this foundation and I feel so heartbroken, uh, but I still want you guys to get the full experience. So let's go ahead and throw up the up close. Um, as you will see around the mouth, I don't know if it's going to properly portray what I am saying, but around the mouth, this looks so bad. Like it's not only creasy and cakey, but my smile lines look real, real nasty. And then in between my brows, same thing. It really settled and got kind of super ultra cakey and creasy and wrinkly in there. But for me guys, when it comes to Juvia's Place, again, I still think they are an amazing, amazing brand, um, but they're just, they don't work for me. When it comes to complexion, they're just awful on my skin. I don't know what it is. I tried the other foundation. I tried the concealer and now I've tried this foundation and everything that I put on my face just does not work. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys down below. What do you think? Do you have thoughts, opinions? Uh, by the way, their eyeshadow, this does not taint my thoughts or opinions on that girl. It is so, so good. So if you still love that, keep loving it. But I want to hear from you guys. Did any of you try this? Were you curious about it? What are your thoughts and opinions? Um, and if you have, by the way, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, if you have more like oily or combo skin, I do feel like this did an okay job at keeping the oil away as far as surface oil goes. But as far as my skin literally rejecting it, like it's completely like pilled off of my face face and it actually looks like on my skin right now like my actual pores are pushing it away for whatever reason this foundation is just not jiving with me um but I think from just an oil perspective it does do okay um the finish is a little bit more on the natural side I would say like more matte natural um but not overly matte like it's not super harsh or anything but for me I just I can't with this it looks so bad but again I want to hear from you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below if you haven't checked me out on Instagram and on Twitter please be sure to do that as well and above all 
all things, you guys know the Mac Daddy of all that you can do is subscribe and turn on your post notifications because y'all, I'm still over here. Hello, hi. Uploading five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And they're still going up for the most part, other than like charter and internet issues literally consuming my life between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan. And it's just a fun early time. And I always let you know if they're going to be late, but it's something you can count on every day, five days a week. It's like a soap opera. I am like the soap opera of your life, honey. So what are you doing? Get on this. Let's go hang out. Days of our lives. These are the days of our lives. We're going to talk about makeup every day. What kind of, what, what better life is there? So just hang out, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. My hands are getting going. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I appreciate it no matter how the foundation turns out. Um, I, please don't forget, have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. How does this happen to me? I swear to you, I sit down and I get this far, like annoyingly into what I'm doing, and I'm like, I'm so hungry. Paige, you don't need to be hungry all the time. Mm. Oh, no. Shh. I'm very busy. Come on and do it. And do it. And do it. Do it. Do it. Uh -huh. uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going to step on that and it's going to hurt so bad. I lied. You can go over there. Much better. <laughs> I'm a genie in a bottle. Whoa, we got to rub me the right way. Okay. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today we are diving in to the newest foundation. Ah.